Tonight you're tuning in to Look Mano Script, an improvised alternative story based on the pulps of yesteryear. Tonight's story is Red Harvest, where the last honest citizen of Poisonville was murdered. The Continental Op steps in. He's hard-boiled. He's hard-hitting. That story is happening, but so is this one. You'll never find a bigger hive of scum and villainy in the whole poison United States. Our main export, poison. (laughs) Our other main export is dead bodies. We send them to dead bodyville across the river. Are we doing that right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, chuck this one in with me. There we go. Yeah. What do you think of my new set? I was thinking of trying that out at comedy night. I was pretty good. I I feel like it might kill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? oh man, yeah, uh, it man. might. It might. Someone might die from that joke. I hope. I mean, I mean, if they don't, I'm just gonna shoot them because that's how I do. It's true, but they might die from how like truthful it is. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I I kind of specialize in situational humor. I I know that's why I call you Sitch. Uh, I know it's not your name, but uh, no, nah, but it's, it's a pretty good. good nickname, though, right? Like I, I feel like I nailed it. Yeah, I mean that's why we call you Farting Joe. <laughs> that's why you do it. I love that uh, you embrace that. Farting from my mouth, farting from my butt. I do it all. I, re- I really try and lean into nicknames. I, I had one in uh, in elementary school. They called me just like throws rocks. And I like I had never done that before, but they're like, "Hey, look at throws rocks over there!" And so I were they throwing rocks kinda, at you? Because kids can be rough, man. Uh, no, no, no. I uh, I was throwing rocks after that point. I don't know. I maybe was. Yeah, maybe I was being pelted with stones. Uh, but uh, you can see the uh, line of work that got me in. Now I uh, I throw a few stones. Throw a few stones nowadays. Yeah, that's what the boss pays you for. Oh, that boss. Can't wait to get get uh, get the next paycheck. Are we getting paid uh, this next Thursday or? No, it's actually uh, today. Uh, Joe, uh, he wanted uh, us to go see him, so we should head oh, over there. And... We got that expediated pay. That's exciting. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. No direct deposit here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I don't uh, think I do. No, neither do I. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, it's the comedy thing again. Man, I'm just trying to like get it. Huh. <laughs> Comedy's rough, like, man. I, I know. Like, I'm trying to give you a situation. Don't worry about it. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'll get, direct, I, I, I'm working. So direct deposit is when you're in a reputable company. And, okay, we're here. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, hey. Uh, Barry, what's going on with you, man? It's payday, right? Yeah, are you ready to get paid with us? Yeah. Sitch? Me and Sitch? Oh, Sitch is here. Oh, I love that guy. His comedy's great. Yeah, he's just coming around the truck. We uh, we had to do a little drop-off, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bodies. That is our main export. Come on. What the cameras here? They got the CCTV. The what are the cameras going to do? They going to touch me? I don't think so. They're going to. They installed the touching cameras recently. Uh, they don't gonna, you know? They going to touch you too, Farting Joe, you uh, stinky little boy? Yeah, they touch my butt when I go home. I go, hoop, and I give them a little... Oh, man, I really lean into that. The CCTV loves me. I swear, there's a guy at the end of the security, and he's, like, laughing his butt off when I'm doing so. my little bit. You can probably make I him laugh so. as much as Sitch makes people laugh. That guy. Yeah. Oh, man, Sitch kills me. He kills you? Ah! <laughs> he, oh, I'm going to kill you. In a metaphorical way. <laughs> no, this has, been a, this has been a turnaround. I'm killing you right now. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, no, he gets my paycheck, too, now. Yeah, if you say anything, little man, I'll... Uh, Gun you down too. Ah man, I would never do that. Hey, Sitch, come on, you and me, we'll take this guy's pay. We'll uh, go a night on the night on Poisonville. You know, 
Oh, Night yeah. on the town. For sure. Hey, uh, give me a low five. Hey. Hey. It's kind of a high five really, for you. Yeah, it's super high. You're way up there, man. Sitch. Uh, should call you tall sitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get paid. Let's go to the boss. Let's do it. All right, up the stairs. Uh, to the left is his office, I think so. Yeah, here, uh, I'll, uh, I'll knock on the door. Ding dong. Who, I- who is it? Uh, it's, it's your main man, Sitch. What's the Sitch? I see two shadows out there. Who else is with you, Mr. Sitcherson? Uh, it's, our, it's our favorite little guy. Our favorite little guy? What's, what's his name? What's the password? It's his name. <laughs> you know, everybody calls him little guy. I yeah, what's my know. name? I call him Sitch. What's it my starts name? With a, starts with a B. Bubberry. Oh, the shoe knows. He didn't get it fast enough. Here, take your paycheck and get out of here. Oh. You lion sack of shit, Sitch. I'll get you next time. Oh, little guy. They, they oh. got me good. Oh no, Sitch, what are you doing? Uh, I, oh, they shot uh, me. My name's Barry, by the way. You were like this close before he pulled out that Tommy gun. I, I swear. Know, okay, but another day in Poisonville, am I right? Little guy, I'm, I'm, di- I'm dying. Do you have last words? Because that's when you say when you die. Yeah, um, le- yeah I'll lean in here real, qu- real quick. Okay, I'm really, I'm really, uh, ooh, we're... Okay. Uh, you have a nice cologne on today. Uh, What's going you. on? Uh, well, I is, tonight was going to be a special night. And uh, I was gonna I'll take, take your, uh, your lady friend out if you need. Uh, you don't talk about my lady friend that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Final words. This has yeah. been Give them some to me. situational comedy because I'm totally fine, man. How was that? Wow. Bulletproof vest. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Bulletproof. Just that like good. my comedy. That'll, s- that'll slay at the clubs in it, Poisonville. Yeah. And hopefully keep me from being slayed. Or um, maybe across town in Bodiesburg. Yeah, across maybe. the river. Was that that one? Deadsville? Uh, way. Yeah, Bodiesburg, I think. Yeah, we're surrounded by horrible cities. Um, uh, us included. I mean, they, you know, we say we're surrounded by horrible places, and they say they're surrounded by horrible places. It's a, it's a horrible country. <laughs> Poison USA? What, PSA? Po- Poison States of America? Yeah. Poison States right. of America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate it here. It's really bad. It is. That's why I'm saving up to move out. Move out of the, the country. Yeah. yeah, I see. That, that costs a lot of money. I see why you'd be doing a little... Uh, you know, a little disposal for the boss. Yeah, and you know, Poison Sweden is a expensive place. Poison Sweden, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they they keep jacking up the rent because all the poison uh, Americans keep coming over <laughs> and uh, just poisoning all their mountains and stuff. I don't know what's in Sweden. Snow, yeah, yeah probably Minecraft, yeah. poison, yeah. poison. Slowly or- but surely, we'll get there. Another PSA state for the colonies. All right, boys, I've got a task for you. Oh, he's on the loudspeaker. Hello. Hey, hey, oh, it's such a little guy. Hey, I, I guess we're your only two employees here right now. It's late. Well, it's like midnight. Well, the body's bird and they keep dying. Oh, don't send, you got to send them to the, you got to be specific, boss, with the border of Bodiesburg. And then when they get to the border of Bodiesburg, they bury the bodies at the border of Bodiesburg so that they can come back to Poison, Poisonville. I, I should be better about that. Just a little bit better. You, you're always just like, yeah, hey, go to Bodiesburg. Uh, you know, that's the great thing about like having people underneath you when you're a manager is if you listen to them, you can get some really good criticisms and then grow as a person. So thank you. I'm definitely going to have to listen to that, Barry. You've it's it's one favorite. of the... It's one of the leadership principles when you had us sign the like employee contract when we started on here. I know it was on like the back of a, a, a gas station receipt, but it still meant a lot to me. And I, I cherish it every day. And I hope you do, too. I do. And I cherish you. Sitch, oh, Sitch, you're there, too. I forgot. Oh, uh, this is, you're, you're pretty cool, too. Oh, anyway, so I got a, I got a task for you guys. Can you go... We've gotten rumors that the last honest detective in the uh, group of detectives... Not, not the Continental Op. Yes, the Continental Op. No! Op. He's visiting town and he's been... He is so hard-boiled. He is. He's almost defined the genre of cops. What, so, I mean, so 
he's in town and he's dis- discovering mysteries and finding bodies and stuff? Yeah, we have what we thought was the last honest cop in, in the United States, but uh, there's this guy now, so you need to kill them, him, and then uh, that'll be the last honest cop and until maybe like another one comes around. I don't know. They're yeah, there used up. to be like Sleep Man, but he got poisoned, and so it kind of yeah, it did get poisoned. Yeah, it kind of just you know fit itself directly into this story, and we we got him real good. He didn't turn out to be as honest as uh, we thought, too. But uh, well, that guy was he was a piece of work. <laughs> he had a lot of issues, uh, but yeah, we'll okay. So, do you know where the Continental Ops gonna be? Because uh, I'm just going to keep calling him the Continental Op until I get a nickname for him or anything. Well, his name is Continental Oppenheimer. Oh, Uh, okay, so this is the shortened version. Yes. And uh, he is staying at the Continental Hotel. Oh, this is getting more recursive and confusing by the minute. All right. So, so okay. why don't you give me a Lincoln Continental, drive over to the Continental Hotel, and go kill the Continental Op. All right. Do you know what room number he's in? Is he in the continental suite? No. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Continental one, two, three. Very nice. Easy to remember room number. Uh, Lincoln Continental over in the back. We'll put the new tires on it later. We'll worry about that. It's kind of running on empty, but we'll get the gas later. We'll take care of the Continental op. Okay. Continental. Do you... Is it on Continental Ave? Because I feel like they did the stupid renaming thing when they put the building in, and they're like, we made the street for the hotel. They did. Uh, uh, they actually renamed the street. They moved the entire building and the business. It's now on Continental Boulevard. Oh, that's across town the other direction. Okay, yeah, okay. It's, in, it's actually in Continental City. <laughs> oh, no. That's across the other river of opposite. See, I said we were surrounded by horrible places. Continental River, I know. All right, well, let's go. Okay, not to Bodiesburg. I was finishing up a job in uh, Deaths, <laughs> Deathsville. That's the south one. Uh, and uh, Sitch, yeah, and uh, the, the guy you just shot is probably decomposing in front of your doorway. He's fine. Or he's... No! Sitch killed that guy! He's here somewhere! Okay. I'm still here! Uh, That's my comedy. I like to hide away and make people think I'm dead. No. Sitch is alive. Sitch killed... Sitch killed... Fart... Fart... Fart Fart and Joe. (laughs) Fart and Joe. Fart and Joe's dead, as far as I know. Fart and Joe's dead? I loved that guy. I know! And Sitch went a little crazy, but we got his money and we'll, we'll definitely use it... What my plan right now is we're gonna check into the Continental. We got a we got an alibi. Sitch and I happily married. We're wee gonna go to the Oh no the cops. Uh let's go. Let's go. We don't have time to discuss the plan. We gotta go on the road now. Hey, don't run away, that's the cops we got. To the Continental! My name is Continental Wop. Oh he okay. came here? Oh he's an egg! He's an egg! It's just I'm kill him, he's an egg! I'm hard blood. Just kill him, he's an egg. Just Who's go gonna eat kill him. Me? I'm <laughs> and not me, Barry's the small guy. I I don't have the the willpower or the strength. Well My name's Connell Wop and I'm hard boiled and I'll have you see Barry as you so go and then you that funny looking guy and you hey. who's ever in that building? Hey, don't, hey. Shut up. You can't see me, and I hey. the blunt. <laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, it's you just know what they say. It's just the two of us. Oh, okay. Well, you know what they say about a poison bill, right? What is the common phrase they say about our fine city? Your main export is bodies. <laughs> you don't understand our city at all. <laughs> yes. Back at the precinct, uh, Continental Op faces his superior off, Continental op, op officer, Continental. Hey, Continental Op, what's up? Hey, hey Continental Op, uh, what's the news? How, how'd the uh, bust go down at the the poison center down at the by the river? I killed two of them, because I'm hard-boiled. Two of them? What about yeah. the boss? Did he escape? Uh- 
oh, he was in this crazy locked room. I tried to get in there. I knocked on the door. He said leave, and I was like, oh, all right, I'm hard-boiled, but I'm not a jerk. You didn't ask for the password? It's Barry. We had that from the intel. Oh, yeah, no, I tried that, but he was like, hey, I know you're a good guy, and I'm not coming out. Oh, it's because you're egg silhouette. It's, yeah. It's a dead giveaway. I understand. We'll have to carve you into a more human shape when we break that shell off you one day, but you, you're never getting in there, you know? Nope, just a hard shell on the outside and a soft guy on the inside. Oh, delicious. And then the Continental Off guy takes out a huge giant spoon and he bashes your head in. Oh! oh. <laughs> and he's like, ooh, delicious. Oh, oh you know what they say about... Hard-boiled to perfection. Poisonville. <laughs> Their main export is eggs. Delicious. Continental breakfast. (laughs) How is his name Continental Op? I don't know. What is his name? Philip? Crim? Crimshaw? What what names even start with Op to, like, be shortened? I know. It's got to be Oppenheimer. It's got to be. And that's just not imposing enough for me. I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not getting the vibe. I want to read the book, but I don't. But why would you read the book when you've listened to this? This that's, is one for one. That's why we're here. We're uh, adapting perfectly an audiobook version of Red Harvest. Uh, that's been this episode of Look Ma no Script. Thank you so much for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed the spooky episodes last month, and we hope you enjoy the less spooky episodes for the rest of the year and beyond. Yep.